The first subject is unlikely letters to TV channels. Dear Babe Station, when are you actually going to show the film Babe? <laughs> <laughs> Dear CBeebies, I have three BBs, and my BBs love to watch CBeebies <laughs> from their DD. Things you wouldn't hear in a blockbuster movie. We have to save the president. Or, depending on how the election goes, we have to save everybody from the president. <laughs> I will kill Bill. Or, de depending on what it goes by, Killiam William. <laughs> the X stands for xylophone, and the xylophone men don't take shit from nobody. <laughs> Rejected exam questions. Which of the following is a quote by Winston Churchill? A. We will fight them on the beaches. B. God damn, I love these peaches. C. <laughs> <laughs> if the borrowers never returned anything they borrowed, why were they called the borrowers and not the thieving little bastards? <laughs> Which of the following is a quote by Winston Churchill? A. We will fight them on the beaches. B. Goddamn, I love these peaches. So I can't do that. It doesn't make me laugh so much. I love Goddamn, I love these peaches so much. <laughs> Which of the following is a famous fucking. <laughs> okay, the next topic is. Things you wouldn't hear on a train. Now an announcement for the people who insist on sitting the way the train is moving, cos sitting backwards feels weird. You're weird. Oh, 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 my God, oh, my God! Oh, I'm scared of tunnels, I'm so scared of tunnels. <laughs> Things you'd never read in the Bible. And it had all been a dream. <laughs> Jesus handed out cans of Dr. Pepper and said, drink this in remembrance of me. That's right, my full name is Dr. Jesus Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> and most importantly of all, thou shalt not board the train until other people have alighted the train. <laughs> the animals came in two by two, for twas Orange Wednesday. <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Lines you wouldn't hear in a James Bond film. We've invented you a new phone bond. It's exactly the same as the old phone, but you need to buy a new charger. <laughs> so another gadget bond. Uh, this is a way of distracting your opponents. Some light-up trainers for no reason. <laughs> Oh, whoa, whoa, I've got a girlfriend. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear on Crime Watch. If you have any information about this crime or any other crime, then keep your mouth shut. Stitches get stitches. Bra, bra, bra. <laughs> <laughs> and now, as a bit of fun, we go to the blooper reel. Give me all your honey. I mean, money. <laughs> 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 According to police, there were wet footprints leading across the bedroom carpet. Because one of us doesn't know what a bath mat is. <laughs> the murderer said she did it because he made so many jokes about me on Mock the Week and I couldn't hack it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely lines from a fantasy film. Puff. Oh, great, I'm getting bullied. <laughs> Tis I, Merlin, Grand Wizard and supplier of Premier League sticker albums. <laughs> Suzanne, a shiny! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! I've been bitten by some radioactive cordroy. That means I'm going to become James Acaster Man! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we actually find the term unicorn quite offensive. We prefer skinny rhinoceri. <laughs> Do not go in there. It's an absolute bloodbath. It's literally a lion in a wardrobe. I cannot emphasize that. Enough. Kill the witch. Oh my god! <laughs>
The first of it is going out. Well, I uh, like going out and getting drunk. It's fun, isn't it? And food and drink. Uh, I'm not like Rob. <laughs> uh, I don't like going out and getting drunk. Uh, I like staying in. I drink on my own. <laughs> Way cooler, man. I lock the door. I get myself a glass of punch. Is that weird? I drink punch on my own. Is that strange? <laughs> I drink, I drink it from a big punch bowl with a ladle in it in the corner of my bedroom. Is that weird? I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what other people do. People, people are worried about punch getting spiked. Solo punch, problem solved. <laughs> Not to spike myself, unless it's fun time Thursdays. <laughs> Tried going out with some mates recently. We hit the town. I'm a prankster when I'm out with my friends. One of them left me alone with his pint while he went to the toilet. Big mistake. It's a classic prank. Always do this if someone leaves me alone with their pint. I went round the bar using his pint to propose toast with. Deliberately proposing toast to things I knew he disagreed with. <laughs> he comes back as a sip. Uh, uh, what you done with that? I'm like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> you, you just drank to the service charge being included in the bill. <laughs> You, you just drank to those bedside lamps and don't have to switch on the cord like is convenient, but have it on the neck of the lamp under the bulb. It's like a, it's like a bolt you have to somehow slide across. And you can't even reach it like that. You've got you get your whole hand up inside the lampshade. And it really or it hurts. It's really awkward. You can't even see it. You've got to look at the top of the lampshade to see what you're doing. And then you turn it on and it blinds you. You just drank to those lamps. You love those lamps. Thank you very much. The topic is moving house. Ah. I, uh, I moved house recently, luckily. That's good, isn't it? It's fortunate. <laughs> Touch and go for a second there, and that came up, and I was like, ka -ching. <laughs> Jackpot! I did move house recently. Tad too drafty for my like in my new house. Had to order a draft excluder. Uh, by post. The uh, best way to buy a draft is because by post, because when they deliver it, they post it through the door, it drops through the letterbox onto the floor. <laughs> Already it's paying for its own postage. <laughs> Moved to West London. Uh, I used to live in South West London. Different times. I was a different person. Uh, <laughs> used to be in a gang. <laughs> Big time in a gang. SW6 gang. It's our name. It's the area of London we're from. It's our name. And it's what we'd shout at other gangs we didn't like much. Like, if I saw the SW5 gang, for example, we'd shout at them, SW6! <laughs> That's clever. <laughs> I remember once, back in the day, we're out and about, SW6 crew, taking no shit. Um, <laughs> looked across the road, we saw them, SW5 gang. And as soon as I saw them, I was cross. <laughs> Shouted at him, SW6! <laughs> As per. <laughs> and shouted back at us, SW5! Which we expected, but it still made us angry. <laughs> SW6 back at them, SW5 back at us, back and forth, back and forth, for ages. Until eventually, uh, I got so overstimulated <laughs> that I shouted out my entire postcode. <laughs> in full. And that is why I had to move house. Well done, point there for James A. Carter. And the topic is cinema. Where you go. Speaking of the cinema, Sarah Pascoe's an idiot. <laughs> Love going to the cinema. My favourite film I ever saw at the cinema was the Eddie Redmayne classic, The Theory of Everything. Loved it. It should have been called Look Who's Hawking. That's my only criticism. <laughs> no, it was perfect. Worst part of going to the cinema is other people. Easily. I'm sitting there. King of the Jerks is behind me. This really angry man. Had a go at me at one point because I was snacking. Get over yourself, Grandad. I'll do what I like. <laughs> In his defence, I was eating a big bag of fortune cookies. <laughs> cracking them open, reading them out loud. It was disruptive. It was disruptive. 
the end of this film, man behind me goes, ugh, that's two hours of my life I'm not getting back. I thought, oh, got some bad news for this guy. <laughs> Every hour of your life. <laughs> now you're never getting back. They're gone forever. Time is not refundable. Death is the end. <laughs> and I know that because five minutes earlier, I'd read it in a fortune cookie. <laughs> So what's going on here? Is he doing an erotic drawing and uh, you can't see but he's looking at Tom Watson who's posing nude on a bunk bed. <laughs> is, he, is he thinking Tom Watson like one of his French girls? It's exactly doing, like it? one of his French girls. That's a lovely Titanic reference. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think at the minute the whole thing's even more confusing than it has been, that's why all this is going up. The whole in and out thing, I think everyone's finding it difficult. Yep. In and out is a very hard decision. It's like the other day, my flatmate was making me a peppermint tea, and he said, Would you like the bag leaving in? <laughs> or taking out? And it's very hard because if, if you leave the bag in, <laughs> then over time the cup of tea itself as a whole will get stronger. And it might appear like the bag is getting weaker, but it's now part of a stronger cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas, if you take the bag out, the tea is now quite weak, and the bag itself goes directly in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> For me, the confusion with, like, with the celebrities is that I saw that um, Katie Hopkins was, uh, and this will surprise you. <laughs> she wants to leave. Um, she wants to leave the EU, Katie Hopkins. So I was like, great, that's my mind made up, I'm definitely staying. And then I found out Clarkson is voting for Remain. And I, personally, for me, Hopkins Clarkson is a harder decision than in or out. <laughs> <laughs> Big thanks, by the way, to everyone watching the show last week who. Um, Spotted a fly land on my head in the middle of the show, which a lot of people. Wow. Uh, fly. I like to think that if you zoom in on the fly, it's also going. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like you're both laughing yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's a little you, fly there. And if you zoom in really, really close, <clears throat> there's a little bacteria on top of the fly going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a happy chain. Yeah. <laughs> the answer is 24. What is the question? Is it, uh, how many dance troops was I kicked out of for being too edgy? <laughs> Is it, when an English person and a European person share an advent calendar, how many chocolates does the English person think they deserve? <laughs> <laughs> the question I was looking for is how many countries are competing in the UEFA European Championships in France this summer? I hope Leicester win. <laughs> <laughs> Who celebrated their 90th birthday last weekend? It was Bruce Forsyth's daughter. <laughs> He is old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that against like the Queen and the Royal Family, but I'm against people that love the Queen and the Royal Family. Yeah. Well, you've got to understand, these people have a very dear relationship with the Queen, and it's very personal to them, so they, like, they line the streets <laughs> and they, she waves at them yeah. to celebrate all the times in the past where they've lined the streets and she's waved at them. <laughs> 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 What's going on here? Is he saying to Boris, look over there, and then when he turns around, he stabs him in the back? <laughs> Is Gove saying, don't even go there, girlfriend? <laughs> 20 years from now, you'll be sitting right where I am, thinking, you were gonna breeze through this program and go on to something better. But eventually, no! <laughs> Frank, I've just got a flash forward of what Ed will look like in 25 years. <laughs> And you know what, Ed? You'll still be on Mot the Week. Yeah. <laughs> Another news, but not entirely unrelated. What is Jeremy Corbyn refusing to do? Leave. Yes. yes. That's, that's the, main, the main news this week is that uh, the guy who ran the Remain campaign is remaining. <laughs> the people who ran the Leave campaign have left. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is one. What is the question? How many of the three wise men got invited back to Jesus' second birthday party. <laughs> <laughs>
the what gold did the other guy, two the gold do guy, wrong? The other two. Oh, who wants no, frankincense and myrrh? Nobody wants Is it? Yeah. How many times have I dropped a bath bomb in a lemonade? <laughs> It was, it was that good, was Put it? Put it this way, mate, you don't do it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Who lost five two but are still considered to be the winners? Oh, Iceland. 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 Yeah. Amazing. It was glorious. phenomenal. Apparently, according to reports, 99.8% of the country were watching. Yeah, it was 99.8% were watching. I think the other, the rest of the country were playing. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? That is, um, that is Nigel Farage attempting to get out of a car via the window. <laughs> Still the most sensible exit he's ever negotiated. Yeah. <laughs> What's very creepy about this is that if you look in the reflection of the car, the back there, you can see there's a bold man. And then if you look in the front of the car, he's there as well. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> is this a still from the UKIP version of Titanic? In it, um, Farage's character suggests that they deliberately steer towards the iceberg and crash into it, and then, when it's sinking, still maintains it was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is a picture of new UKIP leader Diane James being embraced by former leader Nigel Farage after she was elected at their party conference in Bournemouth. That's what we think, that's what we assume. This could have been as good as it was. Could have been, <laughs> that could have been an hour-long struggle. <laughs> What makes me laugh is they've sort of, he said, like, now he's not the leader of UKIP, he can really speak his mind. Yeah. Well, I don't know what he was doing before. <laughs> <laughs> do, you think, do you think before he was coming off of stage and going, I'm a bloody sellout, I'm a sellout? <laughs> <laughs> You're just telling them what they want to hear, Nigel. UKIP, 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 UKIP. It very clearly reads as pookie, 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 pookie. <laughs> what does pookie mean in Malaysian? It's a word for a... Female set of genitalia. Daniel, you know the other <laughs> Malay word for vagina is? It's Farage, isn't it? It's Farage. I think. Serious suggestion here. Oh, yeah. I th hello, by the way. I realise <laughs> I, realize I haven't said hello to you today. Hello, James. Good to see you. Hello. Good to see you all. My main point. <laughs> I would like to compliment you on managing to find a jumper. This is the exact same colour as your hair. Thank you. It's very good. And my shirt. And, and your shirt. One, I, I'm working on my skin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping this suit I can just be completely in mustard and then hide in Coleman's. <laughs> To seem, you know, churlish, but can we return to the topic at hand? Uh, <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> can you remember what the topic <laughs> was? <laughs> he really hasn't retired, has he? So he's been to America, hasn't he? He and has, he's appeared. And in with America, Tom, Tom. he's known as Mr. Brexit. <laughs> in, in Malaysia, Mr. Brexit means vagina, did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> what new challenge is Theresa May facing? Oh, there's a group. A group has been set up. Yes. I believe they're called Leave Means Leave. Yes, they are. And they're saying, we want Brexit now, hard Brexit. This whole thing there was like a really horrible game of would you rather, but they're both <laughs> things you don't want. Like, would you rather have massive hands but they're not attached to your body, or <laughs> tiny hands but they're strangling you? <laughs> <laughs> I would rather have big hands but they're not attached to my body. <laughs> Fair enough. That's that, that's Good, good, good. <laughs> Momentum for men. <laughs> <laughs> Do that face again. <laughs> I am going to spend most of the next week replaying the inevitable gif that is going to come out of that. <laughs> 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 the answer is 18 billion. What is the question? Uh, how many fridge magnets can you put on a fridge before it topples over? <laughs> The question I'm looking for is, how much is a newly approved nuclear power station at Hinkley Point in Somerset expected to cost? This is terrible. I can't <laughs> wait. I love it. What? I love it. <laughs> what? I love nuclear power. I can't wait to be an X-Men. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be Colonel Mustard. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'll get the power to make prank phone calls with my mind. <laughs> In your X-Men, you can choose what you want to be, can you? Yes. Can I be white Kanye? <laughs> <laughs> what do French scientists claim to produce this week? Sperm! Sperm! Oh. They said that they've tried to uh, make sperm in the past, and they thought, <laughs> it, 
<laughs> they thought that it was sperm, and then it wasn't sperm. I think it's the only time anyone's ever been disappointed to discover something isn't sperm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this isn't it. sperm! Yeah. <laughs> you uh, promised me just, sperm! Just toothpaste. <laughs> Bring your partner to work day, uh, and Sarah's brought John. <laughs> uh, it's, it's something of a historical thing for the show we've never had. <laughs> we've got together just now. <laughs> yeah. but genuinely a couple yeah. and and that's attention which yeah. is best out there i think yes. at this yeah. stage. how long have you been together three and a half years this is hands down the most brutal way i've ever been dumped ever sarah <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay the picture I, I don't wish to state the obvious but it is postman pat and mrs goggins getting ready to fuck shit up <laughs> Have we all been watching the Tory conference this week? Non stop. No, no <laughs> But we you know, I think, because there's that hard Brexit, soft Brexit debate, it's not fair. When we, when we were told to vote, it was two options. Yeah. They should have given us a bunch of them. Or do you want hard Brexit or soft Brexit or chewy Brexit? <laughs> Lovely chewy one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a dry, dry chalky Brexit. Yeah, dry little, uh, a brittle but melt in the mouth Brexit. Yeah. <laughs> Brexit with pulled pork. Uh, <laughs> what brilliant post Brexit opportunity has the Department for International Trade uh, promoted this week? Oh, this is the jam. It is the jam. Hey, hands up. Who likes jam on the. Yeah. I'm a big fan of jam. You don't like jam? Oh, oh no. no. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh, there's a discovery. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what, what did you say he would do to restaurants that serve puddings that were in a, a to... Is he going to prosecute them or something? No, he's going to name and shame them. Oh, really? Oh. I'm very really cross about all this. Are you? I love puddings. He loves puddings, mm. okay. Ed knows this. I love puddings so much. I went sat in Ed's house and ate a full tub of Ben & Jerry's while looking at the Ben & Jerry's websites to see what flavours of Ben & Jerry's they have in America that we don't get over here. <laughs> What flavours do they have? The most amazing flavours you can ever imagine. <laughs> they don't, they don't, in American convenience stores, they have giant fridges full of these. Yeah. Right? I didn't invite James that night, and I was trying to have a very romantic meal with my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and again, just me shouting out, What's called the Tonight Dough? <laughs> <laughs> cherry, cherry, chocolate, cherry, cherry. <laughs> <laughs> The answer is 3%. What is the question? <laughs> is it, my milkshake brings what percentage of boys to the yard? <laughs> <laughs> is it, uh, what are the chances? It could be, a, like, what, what are the chances of John proposing live on air? <laughs> 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 Two. <laughs> 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 it's spider hands. <laughs> Please tell me that is when it? you when you propose as you ever do, you will do spider, spider hands, hands first. Really Every do. day I propose to someone random. I'll come up and go. No, okay, go. <laughs> The question I was actually looking for was, in recent polls, how far ahead is Hillary Clinton in the US presidential election? This is the end of the election. Yeah, I've made my mind up now. I'm voting for Trump. Yeah? I'm voting for him. It's going to be a full-on protest vote, and he will never win. It'll be fine. And if he wins, then I'll just Google the consequences later. <laughs> <laughs> Which ambitious space experiment has come to an end? Oh, this the is Rosetta, man. isn't it? Yes to Rosetta, no to the moon man. <laughs> <laughs> Which it was a stab in the dark, I admit. <laughs> it's the Rosetta mission, Dara. It is the Rosetta mission, yes. And the oh, Rosetta God. mission took 12 years and six months. It cost $1.9 billion. <laughs> None of it's real, though. It's just sci fi, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about this, Dara. It's like Battlestar Galactica. And we're, we're all indulging you, but it's not real, mate. <laughs> Is, is, is any of it? Is, is, is no. none of it real? On the next episode, they send Henry Hoover up to clean up the mess. <laughs> <laughs> At the other end, the points go to Rob Sanger.